In the next few minutes, I'm going to talk to you about some environmental changes and the impacts they're having on the planet and the animals that we share it with. Environmental change affects the distribution of species and in extreme cases, their longevity, which is how long they survive. So what are some environmental changes which are affecting things? One is water, water availability. For example, wildebeests migrate annually from the Serengeti plains of Tanzania northwards into Kenya to track seasonal changes in rainfall patterns. So here water availability is affecting where wildebeests are because they're tracking rainfall. Atmospheric gases also affect distribution and longevity of species. For example, carbon dioxide can dissolve in water and increase the water acidity. Acidic water hinders coral's ability to build a skeleton. And this means that the increased carbon dioxide in the atmosphere can prevent coral growth. We can call this coral bleaching. So there's lots of problems in the Great Barrier Reef at the moment. And also the future of corals looks pretty bleak. Temperature also has a big effect. For example, polar bears hunt seals on floating sea ice. Increasing temperatures cause this ice to melt. And this means that polar bears are no longer able to hunt their main food source. Atmospheric gases, temperature and water all affect these. What causes environmental changes? They can come about for many reasons, but I'll just go over a few of them for you. One of them is us humans. Through the burning of fossil fuels, humans increase the atmospheric concentration of greenhouse gases. People can change water availability through the building of large dams. The pollution of water sources can make them toxic to wildlife. And the amount of waste we produce also has a big effect on wildlife. I'm sure you've seen all the effects of plastic pollution recently. Geological activity is a cause of environmental change. Volcanic eruptions can change the composition of atmospheric gases. Storms and droughts can change the availability of water. Seasons also have an effect. Many countries have rainy and dry seasons. The difference in temperature between winter and summer drives birds on worldwide migrations. So the potential causes of environmental change are seasons, humans, and geological activity. I'll give you just one case study here. In the Industrial Revolution, which was 1750 to 1850 in the UK, the number of white moths decreased and the number of black moths increased. The black moths were better adapted to the smoky polluted conditions and were better camouflaged should they survived. So that's an example of how a human effect can change the longevity of certain species and also affect the evolution of species. So that's a quick whiz around environmental change for you.